Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. My name's Suzanne and um, we're here to do a little bit of a whip and chat. Now, I do have a confession to make and you might be able to hear it in my voice. <laughs> I went out last night, so I am feeling a little bit hungover this morning. Um, and it's my videoing time, so I thought I would give it a go and we'll see how we get on. Because honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see the diamonds properly enough to place them. <laughs> so there we are. That's my confession for the day. And I'll try my best. But um, yeah, I'm feeling just a little bit shaky, a little bit wobbly and um, just a little bit headachey. <laughs> so I hope that you've all been a lot better more better behaved than me this week and um, have enjoyed lots of diamond painting. I feel like I haven't shown you this diamond painting. This one is from Diamond Dark Club. It is the Anne Stokes Crystal Ball and I feel like I haven't shown you this one for quite a while even though I have continued working on it um, behind the scenes as it were. So I've chosen this one today to work on while we do a little bit of a catch up on our news and um, I will show you where I'm up to on the canvas at the end. I'll show you the complete canvas and what's been happening on it because this is a beautiful painting. It's really enjoyable to work on. And I am using um, the Diamond Art Club translucent tray. I'm using my favourite diamond painting pen from Crafted Makes and I'm using Abby's putty in it still. I'm really enjoying using the putty. You might be able to see next to me, however, I've got another diamond painting pen because what I'm finding is that when I'm doing ABs, um, the putty likes the ABs so much it's a bit reluctant to let them go. <laughs> so it doesn't take the coating off them, but it, it's quite difficult to, for the release. So I'm preferring to use my wax, my blue wax from Oraloa for the ABs. Um, but this putty does last such a long time that... Um, yeah, it's really enjoyable to use, so I'm sticking with that one and I am definitely going to be getting some other smells to try because they are so lovely. And thank you to everybody for commenting when I did my last video and you all told me that you enjoy Abby's Putty too. See, this is an issue that I'm finding when I put new wax in, it sort of pulls onto the canvas. Um, now somebody gave me a tip and said to use some older wax to try and lift it off. However, the wax lasts so long that I haven't actually got a gray old bit yet. So I'm just going to try and scrape that off a little bit. I mean, with squares, it doesn't matter as much because we can hide it. And I just have to be a little bit more careful as I place them down so that I'm not having that as too much of an issue. I think for me, I do tend to place on an angle and I just have to be more aware. And during my faffing stage, because I'm really getting these off square, it might not have been such a good idea <laughs> to do this until I was a little bit more recovered. Oh my goodness me. Do you know, I know you're gonna be able to see my, the sleeves anyway on the video, but I'm still in my jammers. <laughs> I haven't even been washed yet today. That's terrible, isn't it? Just so naughty. But I thought it is my videoing time. The house is all quiet. 
I'm going to try and get a decent video done. <laughs> I'm not sure how well it's going so far, I have to admit. My voice is going. I'm sat here in my gym jams with my mascara still running down my face. <laughs> You know what it's like after a night out when, you know, you put a bit more makeup on, don't you, to go out and then you get in and although I do wash my face and I take my makeup off, I never quite get enough of the mascara off after a night out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be on camera and show you <laughs> what a state I am. Oh, dear. But it was a great night. Such fun. It was a 40th birthday party for Laura and Laura did do a video with me when we were on holiday camping and we were doing school key rings. So you have met Laura, it was her 40th birthday, I'm sure she doesn't mind me telling you all her age and sometimes I need to remember that I'm a little bit older than that. <laughs> so dancing the night away, you know, is um, yeah, I think I've been reminded of it this morning to act my age and not my shoe size. <laughs> and talking about shoes, I think I recall as well at one point walking through the town centre with my heel, carrying my heels and just barefoot. <gasps> terrible, terrible behaviour because we left the party, there was like bands playing and everybody was having a lot of fun and a, you know, a bit of fizz and whatnot. And yeah, a lot of dancing. My knees absolutely feel it this morning. <laughs> they didn't at the time, but now, yes, I'm paying for it. Um, so afterwards we decided we would go to another bar and had to walk through town centre but oh I had heeled boots on and yeah I ended up having to remove them and carry them and just walk in my well I had socks on but yeah I just walked through town like that I mean what a mess <laughs> and we did stop for a McDonald's as well so I ended up having a big tasty in the middle of town centre. But that just happens when you drink, doesn't it? It's, you get the munchies a little bit. So, yeah, sitting on a bench, eating a McDonald's with no shoes on. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. It's really naughty behaviour. Oh, dear. But it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> and as well, so after our McDonald's, we went off to the bar. And um, yeah, I think we should have perhaps called it right there, to be honest. <laughs> we should have just um, said, we've had a good night. Let's go home to bed. But oh no, we went to another bar, had another drink. And... Um, yeah, my feet screaming. And we got home, I would say I got to bed about three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, but when I got home and got my jammers on and got ready for bed and things, I realised that I've also lost an earring. <laughs> So I have no idea when that came off. I went to take all my jewellery off and I realised, you know, earrings, like stud earrings, they have like a back to them, don't they, to hold the earring in place. Well, that was still there, stuck to my ear, behind my ear. <laughs> but the earring has completely gone. So I have no idea where that is. I mean, I was talking to a lot of people um, so I'm hoping that it didn't stick to their ear. <laughs> and I'm hoping it was later on in the evening. Otherwise, I've been out 
partying and jiggling and with just one earring in and it was a big flashy um, sort of metallic diamante stud with a, it's hard to explain really, um, it's like a drop earring but with a stud. Sort of not uh, like a grey crystal di <coughs> grey crystal diamante. I oh, know I'm not explaining it very well, but anyway. So I think it would have been quite obvious that I only had one in my ear at any time. Oh dear me. When I look back at the photos, I'll see whether it was obvious or not. Hopefully everybody else was drinking a lot and couldn't see straight either, so I might have got away with it. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so my voice is a bit croaky today because the bands were loud, really loud, really loud rock music. So we were, I would say singing along, but it was more screaming along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but good, 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 good fun. So I've made myself a nice cup of tea beside me and I think I'm on my, this might be my third cup this morning to try and bring myself around a bit because even going to bed at three in the morning, I was still awake early. So I've got the washing on the line and um, had a bite to eat. And then I thought, I really, really, really need to see how everybody is and what, you're, what you've been up to and what news you have for me. So please do leave me comments and let me know. See, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I think when I finish this section and I look back at it, I might need to do a bit of faffing because as I say, I think I'm a bit off square here. <gasps> oh. I think I am, but do you know what? Even if it's a little bit skew whiff, what it means is that <laughs> when I look at this painting in future, I'll remember this little section, remember the party that we went to, and it will make me smile, even if it's not perfectly laid. <laughs> It'll have its own little memory in my head. Always a positive, always, always a positive. Do you know, I have to say thank you to everybody who's left me comments recently. I love reading your comments and you are all so kind and they really, really do cheer me up. They really are a tonic to me. So thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. I promise you, I am usually a lot more professional. <laughs> or at least I try to be. I always say that I'm not really. I'm not a professional, I just enjoy diamond painting and talking to you all and sharing just the joy of diamond painting. And if you all like it too, then, you know, more power to us, that's what I say. So thank you for being here. I really, really do appreciate it. <laughs> Listening to all my tales of debauchery and... <laughs> And you know what? Sometimes after a night out, the worst thing, isn't it, is the tiredness because I don't think you sleep well when you've had a, a drink or two or three or more. And um, it's the next day is the tiredness. That's what gets me. So you would have thought that I would have a really nice early night tonight, wouldn't you? But oh no, we've got tickets to go to the theatre instead. So, 
So we, instead of thinking we'll have a lovely early night and catch up on some sleep and feel fresh tomorrow, well, we've booked tickets to go to the theatre. However, that sounds quite wholesome, doesn't it? Going to the theatre and, um, however, we're going to go and meet Francis Rossi from Status Quo. <laughs> so I say the theatre like I'm dead posh, but no, we're going to go and meet a, um, a musician. I'm actually looking forward to it because he's really funny. So I'm expecting to be amused. And um, yeah, we've got tickets so that we will be able to meet him before the actual show. I don't know if he's doing music or if he's talking. So anyway, it will be an interesting evening. If I can stay awake and I will certainly be driving tonight. Not quite sure what shoes I can wear because my feet are so sore. <laughs> So that's going to be a hurdle to get over later. Might have to, oh, I don't know. I'll have to wear some shoes. <laughs> I can't go and meet a rock legend in my socks, can I? So um... <laughs> I'm just hoping, maybe I need a foot bath. Maybe that's what I need to do. As soon as I finish the video, go and bathe my feet. Yeah. Oh dear, so. It's been a hectic, hectic time. And I don't know, I, it seems that there are a lot of busy people at the moment. So I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the start of summer where you know, events and things like that ramp up a little bit. Perhaps that's the reason, but a lot of people I talk to seem to be trying to catch up with themselves and I've got lots of plans for things to do. So if that is you, I hope you're having a lovely time and planning all sorts of um, events and parties and Things like that, socialising. What I liked about last night, because um, because it was Laura's birthday, there was a lot of people I knew in the bar, so I could go around and talk to so many different people. It's so lovely hearing people's news and meeting new people for the first time and things like that. So. It was, it was fab, and I hope that you have the opportunity to do that as well. Oh gosh, I hope you can't hear my tummy rumbling. <laughs> I'm sat here and my tummy is joining in with the conversation. Oh dear. See that there, that's better. It's probably that big taste, isn't it? <laughs> Making my tummy make noises. They are my favourite from McDonald's, by the way. Big taste is so yummy. They are really tasty. They're named really well. You know what I'm like about my names when it comes to colours and things like that. Well, Big Taste is whoever came up with that name is absolutely perfect description. These purples are so lovely within the browns, aren't they? Have you noticed that? It's um, it's some very dark browns, a chestnut brown, and then this purple just brings that section to life. Really gorgeous. And then we'll have the three tens going in where the dots are. Mm. 
Sounds like the neighbour's children are outside playing. It is actually, drum roll, a sunny day today. Yeah, normally when I'm talking to you, it's raining bucket loads outside. It's a sunny day and what a difference it makes. Quite warm, so for the first time, no heating on here either. Yes, bit of money saving there. Okay, I think I'll get those peas in and then we'll move on to the three tens after the pea. not say pee too much because it'll make me need the toilet. <laughs> oh look, that was completely wrong. <laughs> oh goodness me. I mean I can be off a little bit but that's ridiculous isn't it? I blame, I blame the gin fog. Oh that's no good. Let's get my tweezers and see if I can push it straight. This is another use for tweezers. <laughs> Pushing them into line a little bit, that's better. I don't know how many uses I have found for tweezers now, but that's another one. <laughs> yeah, a bit of gin fog, I'm afraid. You know, before we went out, I was saying, I don't think I'm going to drink tonight. I think I might drive and then, you know, we can get home early and I'll be nice and fresh for the weekend. <laughs> it took until probably getting home after work yesterday to decide that we weren't going to drive at all. As I say, it's been a hectic week, so I felt like I deserved a proper night out. You know, all of these good ideas that seem like good ideas at the time and then when they're done, uh, kind of think, mm, <laughs> maybe I should have. I'm sure I would have had as much of as a nice time drinking water or lemonade or something. Anyway, what is done is done. I survived, just my feet disagree <laughs> and my knees. You can see I missed a tea there, so we'll have to pop that tea in as well. Yeah, when you go to a party for a younger person, let's put it that way, and you're, you're surrounded by people who are younger than yourself, you tend to forget <laughs> Tend to forget that you're a little bit older and um, a little bit creakier. <laughs> oh dear. Until, you know, your body reminds you, that is. And then you're like, oh yes, okay. So, it's such a lovely day today as well that maybe I need to do a bit of gardening or something. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I need to get into the fresh air, but I'll have to do something around here because I just cannot put some shoes on. <laughs> so, I'll think of something, I'm sure. I think gardening might be a good idea. I can do that barefoot couldn't I 
And the bonus is that I'll actually get the gardening done too. So this could be a win-win situation here. Right, how's it looking? Am I completely off kilter? Is it okay? Will I get away with it? I think it's not too bad, is it? <laughs> I think it's a lot better than I thought it might be. So, this is a good question for you. What sort of dire situations have you been in that have meant you can't diamond paint as much as what you would like to? Now, I know that none of you are as well behaved as what you make out. <laughs> I'm absolutely sure I'm not on my own here um, with this. So come on, spill the beans. Tell me your stories of the sorts of things that could stop you diamond painting. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's going to show on camera, so maybe I shouldn't even say anything, but I am a little bit shaky this morning. <laughs> Perhaps you did notice when I put that line in there. <laughs> oh dear. I bet you've all got some stories to tell me. <laughs> I can't wait, actually. I need to get this video up as soon as I can. I want to hear. I'm so sorry, I'm so croaky. This may be the one and only video I ever do after a night out, I can tell you. <laughs> so please don't say, oh, I really enjoyed it because um, it means I might have to repeat it. <laughs> and that could become a very, very bad habit, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, could you imagine if everybody was like, oh, that's the best video you ever did and I'd have to go out every weekend. I don't think I could though, you know, well, not if I'm carrying on working full time, no way. It's probably going to take me all week to actually feel human again, you know, because... You know, if you're a young thing watching this, you won't realise that it does take an older body a lot longer to recover from a night out. And um, we don't just ping back. Um, so yes, I will be paying for it probably till, I'm going to guess Wednesday. I'm recording this on Saturday morning. I don't know when I'll pop it up onto my channel, but this is Saturday morning. Yeah, it'll probably take me till Wednesday to feel, you know, properly rested and not as sore. <laughs> so, I do want you to enjoy the video and I do want you to like it, but not so much that I need to repeat the experience. <laughs> Goodness me. Uh, so I have also been continuing with the DIY Moonshop Mystery Diamond Painting. Hopefully if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you'll see the updates still going on there. Ooh. And I think
think what I'm going to do is, I'll carry on doing sections for now, but I'm thinking of then moving on to completing the, the sections. Oh, how, what, am I, what am I saying? <laughs> With that diamond painting at the moment, I'm doing random sections with a number generator. And I think it's getting to the point now with maybe another couple of sections I might do randomly. But then I think I'm going to start again in the top and move along the rows to finish it off that way. I mean, the, the sections are still quite different to each other, but I think the more that I do, the more sense it's going to make. So I think I'll just continue working as I would on a normal canvas from that point. So we'll see how it goes, but I hope that you're enjoying the updates for that one because it really is a true mystery. I have to say, I still can't really envision what the picture is going to look like at the end. And I'm not going to give any spoilers in this video, obviously, because I do give warnings when I'm talking about this painting in case you want to do it yourself and you don't want to hear about it. So just to let you know, I am still working on that one, really enjoying it. And I've got this one and I will explain about the middle of this canvas when I get to the end of this section, which shouldn't take too much longer now. We've just got the F's to finish, do the V's, and then I'll be able to show you the whole canvas and explain what I've done. Or what my thoughts are about the middle, the crystal ball part. Right, last colour being V. What that bit is, I can't quite remember the background in this bit as to, I mean, there's a beautiful part further up with really nice designing in. I can't remember what this part is, so I might be able to see it better when I stand back from it. Oh my goodness, when I get to the end of this bit and I'm showing the full canvas, I will have to stand up, but I might be a bit wobbly. <laughs> I'm going to apologise now if when I'm standing I'm wobbling a bit. Oh, I, don't, I don't think I can do it sat down, that's all, because I need to be able to see the full thing. Oh, I didn't think this through, did I? And you'll have to excuse my jammers. You know, at least they're my fairly nice ones. <laughs> and not my old grey, you know. <laughs> Well washed elastic going in them pajamas. Now these ones are fairly presentable. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> well, at least I've got some on. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> oh, darn. Look, I'm always too naughty when I come on here to talk to you. You all are such bad influences. You really are. <laughs> And I love it. <laughs> okay. It's a case of who's influencing who, isn't it? But hopefully I'm bringing wholeness and goodness into your lives. If I'm being a little bit naughty, at least you don't have to. <laughs> right. I don't know how we managed to finish a section. I'm just going to... Do my tweezer trick and straighten. Oh, can you see I'm she Oh, it's so bad, so bad, so naughty. But I've got the shakes. There we are. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's like looking okay. Just make sure they're all pushed down. Yay, great. Okay, well, let's have a look at where I've got up to and what's been done already. Okay, here she is. You'll see I've still got some release papers in the middle and I will take those off and show you. Um, but this is what I've completed so far. Just 
pushing the canvas down a little bit so you can see that is the section that we've just been working on here. And do you see what I mean about this design here? It's so lovely. It's like um, some sort of emblem picked out in the background. And there's the same or similar one on this side too. So here is what is remaining to be diamond painted. I would say I've probably done half, do you agree? Probably about half finished because as I remove these midsections, you'll see that I have actually at the moment left out the crystal ball. So I've done her hands and I've done some of the edging. This part, by the way, is stunningly beautiful with those ABs. I can't wait to get down to this part and finish off that. Um, it's not a goblet, it's a stand for the crystal ball. It's just sparklingly beautiful. Now, the reason I have left the crystal ball is because you might see I've done a little bit here and I thought, it's a crystal ball. Ta da <laughs> No prizes for that one, I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, and if you remember, when I was doing the stained glass, I did wonder about whether I should do them in crystal to make them look more glass-like. And then when I put the ABs in, I loved it. They are so stunning. And I do think they look like stained glass. So when I got to the crystal ball, I thought, aha, crystal ball. Maybe I should do crystals in the whole thing. I mean... Can you imagine just how beautiful that would look? So I started looking at the colours and as I did, I realised there's a lot more colours in that than I realised. There's so many different greys, so many different blues, pinks, peaches. So I did have a little look around on AliExpress and it's very, very limited in the colours of crystals that you can choose from. And we've got the additional issue of them being square. So I did also have a look in the website where they do the sparklers and all of those um, crystals too. But there's just so many colours in here. I, I think, one, it's quite cost prohibitive because I think it would cost so much money to get that many colours. Whether the colours would be right in it by doing that, I'm still not sure. So I've left it because I really, really, really like the idea of it, but I don't know how practically I could do it. So my next thought was perhaps to fill in this bit with the usual diamonds and maybe do the top crystal so that it's, it's kind of evoking the feeling that it's all crystal. Um, so... Let me know your thoughts on that. It would be really interesting to hear how you might approach it, whether you would just do it as a diamond painting and not put any crystals in, whether you think it would be too much crystal. Yeah, I'd be interested because I could even just put a gleam of crystal here to suggest the crystal rather than it be crystal. Um, and another thought I had as well I really like this hand, but this hand I think looks slightly odd. Now I know with different perspectives, like this finger, you can tell it's a longer finger even though it's short because it's the perception, the perspective. But this and this finger just look so stiff that I kind of I kind of want to put a bend on this finger, but I'm not quite sure how I would do that. And also, if you notice this part here, it doesn't seem to fit her finger. So I may well take that row out as well and make it um, the darker colour. So mm, there, are, there are some parts that I'm like, OK, I think I need to look at it once it's finished looking at her velvet gown i'm going to call it a gown it's sumptuous it's so well done all of the colors in it with i mean it looks velvet doesn't it it's astonishingly good and 
look at that little bit of AB there to pick out that light. And then here, with all of that shading going down, it is gorgeous, really gorgeous. And she's such a stunningly beautiful woman anyway. So I'm loving this diamond painting. Yes, there are a couple of issues. We can fix those, no problem at all. Let me know what you think about here and I do appreciate your suggestions for that. Okay, I hope that you've enjoyed the whip and chat. I hope you don't mind the naughtiness today. I hope you've joined in and had a bit of a laugh with me. And I hope that my voice comes back properly for next time. <laughs> in the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, everyone. 